G'day guys, Jesse here with another SEO video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about negative SEO and specifically 301 redirects. Now, one of the reasons I'm talking about 301 redirects is because it's something that I've come into contact with in the past. Um, I've seen it happen on client sites, I've seen it happen onto a friend sites, and even though you know one of Google's efficient statements is that they're working really hard on this um, and that they try to make sure that it doesn't happen, the thing is it does happen and it can be a real pain and it can be very stressful uh, and it can suck. So in this video, I wanna give like an overview of 301 redirects in general, how they should be used uh, and then start talking about um, how people are using them to basically penalize sites uh, and get them out of the search results. So to kick things off, uh, you've got the 301 redirect, right? And so this is something that usually you put on the server itself. So when traffic hits it, it knows to go somewhere else, right? So that, that's essentially what this is. So let's say I have um, my primary site and it's HTTP. Uh, actually for this example, let's say it's a, a flower shop, right? So it's a flower shop, I got flowershop.com.au. Um, I then want to redirect my site to uh, HTTP Jesse's flowers, right? .com.au. And the 301 redirect would essentially handle that. A user would visit here, 301 redirect would say, hey, come here instead. The net effect and what ends up happening is that all the links and the authority and all the, you know, the kind of, uh, equity that you've built up in this domain should essentially get passed through almost fully to the redirected domain, right? And so this is great for moving your business, maybe moving it from HTTP to HTTPS. So let's say, uh, let me grab uh, this one. So let's say, uh, let's say that was HTTPS instead. That would be another thing that I could do, right? Um, or let's say I changed a blog post, I could do a 301 redirect for that. So that's how that's how the 301 is supposed to be used. It's a directive to tell uh, that a page has moved to another location and that the search result should index that new page instead. A 302, which is a temporary, doesn't quite have that same strength and oomph in it, but the 301 does. So, all right, cool. So that's the positive way to use it, right? Small business, large business, changing business name, move it over, use the 301 to redirect, done. The hard part, and, and this is where it gets wrong is, well, what happens if you have a domain that is penalized, right? So let's say I was doing some pretty uh, nasty work on this and I was you know, spamming it with links. Uh, so let's say that incoming in this is spammed links, uh, you know, thin content, that's already gonna be an issue no matter what site you have. But let's just say it's like spammed links, maybe spammed, spam social links. Um, and basically, yeah, bad, bad tactics are going into building this. So my site gets a manual penalty. Right, so me being what I think is a tricky marketer, I 301 it to a nice fresh site. This one has clean links coming in, clean social links, and everything's really nice on this, right? No Chinese or Russian links coming in uh, to my US website, it's nice and clean. The thing is, is 301 redirects will pass through all these links all the way over, right? So essentially, all the negative stuff I've been doing here should pass as a one-to-one. -one. So it should go almost 100% through. Uh, without that much loss. There are some tests where they do show a little bit of loss, but some of the ones I've run, you don't see much. What some people will do is they'll do two 301 redirects to try and see if they can not pass the penalty through. So again, if this has a manual penalty, it's gonna go 301 to Jesse's Flowers, and Jesse's Flowers is gonna adopt the manual penalty or just the penalty in general and not rank as well in search. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, right? So now I've run through a negative case, whereas like I have a domain that is spammed, I redirect it to my clean domain and the spam, you know, the, the penalty, whether that's an algorithmic penalty or a manual penalty will pass through to my new fresh domain, right? There's ways that you can get around it, but for the sake of this, uh, that's basically it. So then now hopefully you guys have seen that like, you know, person themselves can get them into a little bit of a pickle. But what happens if you weren't ethical? What happens if you're in a niche and you really cared about the first spot and you saw three people above you that had moderately authoritative sites, not too authoritative, and you wanted to take them out of the search results? Well, what you could do is go find or go spam a whole bunch of domains and then 301 redirect them to your competitors and essentially take them out of the search results. And this is happening time and time again in some niches. Like I, I've seen, you know, I've even seen like forum posts where people have dug up their sites and they've seen 45 to 100 uh, URLs 
that were purchased, spammed, just to point to their domain to take them down. And as a result, no matter how many you know great marketing or great links you can build uh, to your authoritative site, you get in all these 301 redirects from manual penalty sites, algorithmic algorithmically penalty sites, and it'll just remove you out of the search results. It doesn't matter what you do. You're basically going to get taken down. The difficulty thing is, and this is one of the hard things with search, is if you're not actively monitoring it, you basically are screwed because you you won't be able to identify that's happening. And the way to take action is to do what's called a disavow. So in Google Webmaster Tools, and I'll leave you guys this to Google, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, there is a way to submit basically a document to Google saying all these URLs, please ignore them. Now to dig them up, this is the tricky part. So the tricky part is like Google Webmaster Tools, you'd think it would do this, but not always it won't actually tell you who is 301 redirecting to your site. So if you have no knowledge, you just see your ranking slipping and unless you do a really big deep dive, it'll never become obvious that this is happening to you. So what I tend to do, and I do this with all my sites and all my client sites, is I'll intermittently go check uh, using a tool called Ahrefs. I'll leave a link below. Um, I'll use a tool called Ahrefs and I will actually look at, they've got a section there to check 301s to your site. And as long as they're not cloaking their redirects, in theory, you'll be able to pick them up and get rid of them. Another downside which people don't really realize is that people can hide these from crawlers. So hide hide the 301s from both GWT, uh, crawlers like Ahrefs and SEMrush and any other link uh, research tools. Um, so then you're basically a little bit screwed because you don't know what's pointing to your site so you can't disavow it. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, so, I mean, I'm kind of like leaving this on a bit of a negative note, but what I'm going to say is I just want to give this overview of this kind of problem that happens in search. Um, the only way to get around this really is to find the domains, disavow them, or an alternative, which I could suggest is if you really can't debug it and you have a site that is bringing in, you know, substantial income and it's important to your business, go check out Google's webmaster forums and leave a post in there. If you're polite, you write a pretty nice message, there is potential that someone will actually help you out and research your site to see if they can dig something up. And you know, occasionally I've seen engineers actually help. Um, but yeah, hey guys, this is a hard problem to debug and solve. Um, if you've got any comments about this, leave them below. Um, if this type of search stuff is interesting to you, hit subscribe because I'll be recording some more. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is a 301 redirects and how they can affect you negatively or how they can be used for negative SEO. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll chat to you later. Bye.